everyone? It's your boy Jay Cleave and my brother Ronald. Yo, yo. This is the Smoking Grill Brothers. Yes, it is. And this is us both reviewing yep. Chargrilla's newest product, mm -hmm. the portable barrel style gambler. The gambler, yes. So let's talk a little bit about the gambler. All right, let's talk about so, it. So the first thing I want to say is um, I like the packaging that this came in. Um, mm -hmm. One thing I will say about it, it only took me about an hour to, to put together because nice. we didn't need both of us. So I said, well, let me just put it together. It took me about an hour, give or take. The instructions were very seamless, so it wasn't okay. difficult as far as putting it together. Nice. I had no issues putting this grill together. It was only one little small challenge was um, the rod. The rod, so it just took a little hammer, gave it a couple of taps, and went through. Outside of that, perfect, seamless, um, putting this whole thing together. Okay. Um, now, what are some of the other specs we want to talk about about this grill? Well, brother, I think there's quite a few things we want to talk about with this grill. I mean, it's kind of packed with features to be yeah. such a portable grill. Yeah, I'm excited. So, I mean, the most exciting thing to me, just my personal most exciting thing is, you know, once you unlatch this, of course. Oh, yeah. You know, nice and sturdy there to keep it closed. You can't beat having cast iron grates, yes, you absolutely. know, on a portable grill, especially at a portable grill that's most likely going to be at a, a lower price point, that right. I would say. Yep. So cast iron grates are, are, are good to cook on. I mean, right. you get the good sear marks and they last, you know, a lot longer than stainless steel. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like they say, you know, if you take care of your cast iron, they can last a lifetime. Absolutely. Whereas, you know, sometimes other grill companies, they'll put stainless steel, mm -hmm. which is good, but it's nothing like cast nothing iron. Like because it. not only does it last a lifetime, but it also retains the, those flavors as you cook and grill time and time over again. Yep. What else you like about the grill, my brother? So actually, I like the ash pan at the bottom. Yep. I mean, it's, it's very easy to get in and out, yep. you know, cause like when you, it's a portable grill. Yep. So you can be cooking on this while you're probably at the park or you're out, you know, on a date or something like that, you know, have a little picnic. Oh yeah. You know, you want to get that ash out of there so you can get it back in your car and get back on the road. Yep. So the ash pan is very easy to remove and get that ash out of there after you're finished cooking. Absolutely. What's the feature that you like, my brother? So it's a couple of things. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like a small version of my barrel style grill. Okay. So I do like that you have your damper so nice. not only can grill, you can smoke okay. uh, with this as well. Yep. But you have the ability to put your food that you prep on the side. You yeah. don't have to put it on another table. It's yep. right there so they dig, they do give you the convenience of a small table. Also, mm -hmm. got a great got, lifter. You got your great lifter. Yes. So you don't have to combine when you have your own great lifter. So yep. I do love that aspect about it. Okay. A couple more things I would like to mention I do like about it okay. is the cup holder under for the grease. Absolutely. Here, so yeah. Definitely. And the fact that you can open and close this thing and it's portable. Yes. Like you, you felt the weight on it. What are yeah. your thoughts about the weight? I mean, I think the weight is very good to, you know, uh, take it around. I mean, it's not too heavy, but it, it still has that heaviness to it that is, yeah. you can tell that it's sturdily built, has a good build quality. Yeah. So it's not extremely heavy, but just heavy enough that you know you're working with a good product. Right. Yep. Yeah, one of the other things I will say I do like about this grill is where the uh, grill grates are. Yep. They have a latch right here on top nice. to hold those grates in place. So when you're actually transporting the grill, they don't tumble all over inside the grill because the first thing I said when I put it together and I lift it up, I'm like, Right before I lifted it up, I said, I wonder if the grates are gonna fall. And then I like, oh, the grates ain't fall. So once I opened it back up, I realized, cause I didn't notice this before, nice. that latch that keeps the grates in place so they do not fall over. So that's another um, feature that I do like. And then when you close it, it does have another latch to lock it closed. So you don't have to worry about it opening up when you're when you're pulling it around. Nice. So I do love that feature as well. All right. Is there anything else that you like about this thing, man? Man, I think we are going on over quite a few features. I mean, you do have your thermostat up here. Yes. Of course, Absolutely. we'll check that out later once we give it a good burn in. Yep. I mean, um, you have the latch as well to make sure it stays closed. Yep. I mean, other than that, brother, I think we've you know we've gone through all the features that you know we would like to hit on. Yeah. And I mean, we're going to get this thing fired up. You know, like you said, get those sausages and some steaks up there. It's going to be a good cook. All right, so we're about to get some sausage steaks on the grill. We're going to let you know how this baby grills. See you soon. All right. All right, so we got the grill all nice and fired up. The grill has been going for about an hour. We've been using this time to season the grates and get all those chemicals that they use in shipping out of the grill. Absolutely. All right, so we're gonna be putting on some steaks and some sausages on the grill. First, we're gonna start off with some good sausages that my brother Jay Cleve likes. Oh, I don't just like these. You these like are my favorite, favorite. sausages. Favorite. These are Caroline's spicy sausage. I told y'all I love spicy food, so yeah. we're about to put some sausages on the grill. 
Let's see what this grill is working with. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So let's go ahead and put some of these sausages on the grill. One thing I will say about the grates, we did season the grates last night and we used the instructions that Char Griller put inside of the packaging. So that's one good thing that I do like that they put in there. They put in there how to properly season your grates. So we use those instructions to season our grates. Let's go ahead and put, oh man, it's smelling good already. Let's go ahead and put a couple more on. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. You know what? Yeah, throw two more. Yeah, put, throw two six, more seven, and eight. Yeah. We'll Let's let that. those babies cook. Stay tuned. Our sausages are pretty much done. We're about to check on them. They're already pre-cooked. We just had to heat them up. So let's go ahead and check on our sausages. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ah, uh, those are looking good. All right, we're gonna get those off the grill. And we're gonna put on our steaks. Oh yeah. All right, time to put these steaks on the grill. Yes, indeed. I'll let these babies cook for about 30 seconds to one minute on each side. Give it a little press. Oh yeah, mm. smelling good already. Good. See you in about a minute. All right, it's been a minute. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Oh yeah. Cast iron. Cast iron giving it that little seal marks. Oh yeah. All right. Another minute. All right, time to go ahead and get these steaks off the grill. Oh yeah. Yeah, they ready. Nice. Sear marks. Uh, one thing I will say, the grill, this, this grill definitely did its job. Look at this. Definitely did its job. It's looking amazing. So we are done with our sausages and our steaks. They came out delicious. It was amazing. Like Amen. the cook was great. Yep. The this actual product itself is an amazing product. This is a great cooking machine. Absolutely. My brother, what you gotta say? Again, like this is a, a grill that is under a hundred dollars. You can yes. buy it in the stores today for yes. under a hundred dollars. And you get cast iron grates. Oh yeah. You saw those sear marks that we got on those steaks. I did. I mean, you can't beat that. Yeah. Under a hundred dollars and you get good sear marks and you get a good portable grill like this. I mean it seems like it's a smart buy to me. Yeah, I, I mean, I think this, like I said, once again, this is a great cooking machine. Yep. I love the portability, if yes. that's even the right word to say. I love how you can break it down, can carry it where you want to go, whether you're going to a park or going on some type of vacation, you can bring yeah. it with you. Absolutely. This is a great machine, and I look forward to using this a whole lot more with my family. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So, once again, this is your boy, Jay Cleave. Ronald, Smoking Grill Brothers. We're going to see you next time. This is our review of the Gambler by Char Griller, King Griller, Gambler Portable Grill. Bam, right Ready? there you got it, our review. See you next time.